course, there's the person who is in charge of schools, the state superintendent of public instruction. ABC 15's Danielle Lerner spoke with both candidates and has their take. Danielle? Well, Steve, both of those candidates tell me they're feeling good going into Election Day. Of course, as you said, they share the same goal. They want to oversee the Department of Education, but their experience couldn't be more different. Republican Frank Riggs and Democrat Kathy Hoffman now making their final push as people head to the polls. Canvassing and phone banking and just chasing those ballots to make sure that everybody makes their voice heard and gets their vote, their vote in. Because I think I'm far more experienced, far more qualified, and far more prepared ready on day one, I like to say. But Riggs warns don't confuse his experience with age. The Army veteran, former California congressman, and online charter school founder publicly took issue with a recent endorsement for his opponent, touting her, quote, energy over his experience. As I said to them, they are welcome to join me for one of my 5 a.m. workouts before a full day of campaigning, but I haven't yet had anyone take me up on that offer. <laughs> if elected, his first priority will be a comprehensive benchmark survey comparing teacher and support staff pay and benefits with their counterparts in the Southwest and Mountain West regions. We know we have to be competitive with those states if we want to recruit and retain the best teachers for Arizona students. Hoffman is a political newcomer who spent her professional career inside the public school system as a teacher and speech therapist. She took part in Red for Ed. The movement's organizer, Noah Carvelis, served as her campaign manager. It's time to have someone with that classroom experience. And as an educator, I, I believe I have the right kind of experience. Her first move as superintendent would be an audit of the Department of Education to track and restructure structure funding. As an educator, I've seen firsthand what has happened with diminished resources in our classrooms. Two candidates vying for your vote in a race that could come down to the wire. I bring that teacher voice. I bring my firsthand experience. Experience really does matter. And I have not only the experience, but I have the experience and the energy to get the job done. Now, one thing both candidates agree on, they're both against Prop 305. That is the expansion of our state's Empowerment Scholarship Account Program, also known as the School Voucher Program. Uh, Steve, we'll be taking a deeper look on Prop 305 coming up at 630. For now, back to you.